wow, is Jesus' prejudice. We almost can't help but ask ourselves that question after reading today's gospel, especially his comparison with the Jews as the children and the Canaanites as dogs. Well, in one sense, it is surprisingly yes. We are all prejudiced. I mean that we belong to a group, a people, and therefore we have the sense of the other. People who aren't part of our own group. And we can't help it. That's just part of our human experience. And it seems that Jesus, being truly human, experienced this condition too. He didn't come into the world as a universal man. No. He came into the world as a particular culture, a specific worldview, because belonging to a specific place and time is part of the human experience. Is it sinful? Is it wrong? It's simply part of the package of being finite, limited in our human being. And strangely then, Jesus gives us permission to accept honestly the reality of our limited even prejudiced worldview because he shared in it. But, and this is the important but, it's only permissible to accept that reality as a starting point. And Jesus doesn't want us to remain there and this gospel today shows us the pathway beyond our limited world view. And thus, in Jesus' dialogue with this woman, his compassion for her is the balance between his sense of mission and to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This encounter is rather unique. A male wouldn't be speaking to a female in public. And she doesn't know the covenant. She doesn't know the law. She doesn't know any of salvation history. She doesn't even know if she knows salvation history. And so what is so unique is that she believes that this man can heal her daughter. It's that direct. It's that simple. She's been hearing about this miracle worker, Jesus, who is in town. Because people have been spreading the word and people are coming to him. And so, too, she comes. She's got a sick daughter that's tormented by a demon. As parents, you would do anything for your daughter, your son. And she cries out for help because she has nowhere else to turn, and that's her motivation. She doesn't get quiet. She's obnoxious. And the disciples try to keep her from him. But she persists. And so Jesus today looks and says, it's not right. I'm here for the lost sheep of Israel. But this woman says, even the dogs eat the scraps. 
She's persistent. And she appeals to the tenderness of Jesus. And she does believe. She believes in Jesus enough. She doesn't know salvation history. She doesn't know the law. She doesn't know the prophets, the Torah, or the scripture, or any of those religious aspects of who this man is. But it's through Jesus' words and her courageous responses that Jesus draws out of her faith in his mission. And his mission is going to transcend the boundaries of the house of Israel. Our first reading today, we heard from Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come and my justice is about to be revealed. Yes, Jesus came, not only for the Jewish people, but for everyone, so that they may know God's love, they may live that love, becoming his servants, celebrating the Sabbath, and I will bring them to the holy mount, and I will make them a house of prayer. My dear people, that's the vision that God had from the beginning of time, that all nations should praise him. Foreigners, all nations, all people will be glad and exalt. Again, it's this awareness of that expansiveness of God's majesty and love that reaches out to all. My dear people, we take great hope in God's light that will shine upon our whole world. And I pray that all of us, no matter how stiff-necked or hardened our hearts are or how difficult or bitter or anger or resentful, you and I, are to be lights, to draw other people to God's goodness in those great and small ways so that others may come to know the love of God. Our scripture tells us today, the church is God's house. God's house is a house of prayer for all people. My dear friends, it's this Canaanite woman today who demonstrates what faith is all about, to trust in Jesus, to trust that he can touch our lives, that he can heal us, our children, our world, and to have faith in God's goodness. As we come to this altar today, it's that same God who reaches out to each of us to show us his love.